Okay, in this follow-up tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to scan your system to find out what kind of memory you need for your PC running Windows XP. I'm pretty sure it runs, it does run for, for Vista, but it's in beta version. So you click scan, and then you click download the scanner. It's got to agree to the terms of service here. You could download the scanner. And right now I'm just going to run it. You can save it if you want to. And then run. It does that. Minimize this window. Scan in progress. Now it's scanning. You can see that it's scan in progress. Please wait. Your system scanner report will be displayed shortly. Okay. Now it's a little different from a PC than a Mac. So right now what you do is you look over here and it says your system configuration right there. Your system configuration. And now you see current memory two slots of 512 megabytes which makes one gig and then two empty slots. And then you can I don't know what that's doing. Oh crucial recommends go back. Then you can see what they recommend for 2 gigabyte, 3 gigabyte, and 4 gigabyte total. So, and then specifications, maximum memory, 4 gigs, current memory installed, 1 gig. I'm sorry, you're still zoomed in there. There you go. Maximum um, capacity, 4 gig, currently installed, 1 gig. Available slots, 2, number of banks, 4. Dual channel support, yes. Computer ma manufacturer, genuine Intel. Computer family, yada yada. There's the different questions. And now this is the different kind of compatibility RAM that you can buy. But you don't have to buy from them. You can buy from like Newegg or something. And so that's how you find out what kind of memory. Let's get a new view of that, sorry. Looking towards the bottom of the screen, these are the recommended memories they have. So, like, they make all these different ones. This one, this one gigabyte, 1999. It's pretty cheap for one gigabyte, but their some of their other the prices are expensive. I'm not looking too bad though, but I still recommend ordering from Newegg or something. And the way to find out like what the number specification is is right here. I'll zoom in there for you. DDR PC 2-520. There you go. Also, sorry. Each memory slot can hold DDR2, PC2, 530D, or PC2640 with a maximum of 1 gigabyte per slot and not to um, exceed manufacturer supported memory. So that's how you find out, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.